Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart was born in 1756 and died in 1791. He wrote so many different kinds of music. We don't have time to list them all here, but opera was one of the things that preoccupied him the most. And he wrote many, many different styles of opera. Serious opera, lighter opera, something called Zingspiel with spoken text as well as music. But his, his three comic operas, Don Giovanni, Così fan tutte, and Le Nozze di Figaro, or The Marriage of Figaro, that we know best, with his librettist, Lorenzo da Ponte, he created something that is so full of life, so full of intrigue, full of character, based on a play by Beaumarchais. It has elements of revolution. Here was a play that was practically was more or less banned, Beaumarchais' play, so controversially opposing uh, old power uh, of the nobility to, to freedom again, you know, Figaro confronting uh, the rights of um, an aristocratic uh, ruling class to, to uh, dictate how people should lead their lives. And again, the, 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 the foments of the French Revolution, which was just round the corner. We have a house with uh, the count and his countess, and they have their servants. So it is an upstairs, downstairs kind of situation. He is a philandering uh, count, and he has his eye on Susanna, who, it happens this day, is about to get married. The reason for the other title for this opera, La Folle Journée, or The Crazy Day, is because so many things happen. Um, so many plans for him to make love to Susanna, the servant, uh, are thwarted. It also creates a situation where Figaro, with the knowledge that the Count is interested in his bride-to-be, is fighting him tooth and nail all through the opera. And there's this class struggle, which is a very, very important part of this piece. Now, it is a comedy, um, but uh, under that superficial layer is something quite serious indeed. Figaro and Susanna about to be married, but there are complications. Vying for the affections of Figaro is the much older Marcellina. Now she's lent Figaro a bunch of money and he's not able to pay it back and supposedly the contract says if he can't pay the money back he has to marry her and she um, thinks he's rather dishy and so she's very very happy with the idea. The complications uh, become hilarious when we find out that actually Figaro is her long lost son. And not only is he her son, he's the son of Bartolo, another uh, conspirator in her plan to get, to get her man. So you can imagine uh, the chaos and the motherly love that then is smothered onto Figaro. The music starts with this huge embrace, and I mean huge, a That's very kind of warm accompaniment. On top of that is the, in the violins, it's the disbelief of Figaro. Just repeated notes, but you can say, my mother? She says, come to my embrace. Riconosce in questo complesso. And he, in broken phrases, says, Padre mio, my father, fate lo stesso. Embrace me too. But his phrases are broken. He can still hardly believe it. Padre mio, fate lo stesso. Non mi fate più arrossir. Don't make me blush. And the father um, says, yes, don't resist this embrace of your father. I mean, you've got to understand that these people have been against him from the beginning of the opera. They've been his mortal enemies, and yet they're his mother and father. And similar to his mother, he sings a phrase, Resistenza la coscienza. Don't let your conscience bother you. Embrace your father. Forget all the past. And the orchestra plays. So we get a little bit more a musical garland, all of a sudden, Susanna comes running in and she's got a bag full of money. She's gonna pay the debt of Figaro and save him from the marriage. Nice and pert she is, 
And she says, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I've got the money here and I'm going to give it to you. But she sees this embrace of Marcellina and Figaro and she doesn't know what to think. You mean they're already married? They've already agreed to be married? Oh my God. And the music changes. So the music becomes very, very stormy indeed. And in fact, she slaps Figaro across the face. They're going to tell her. The initial music comes back. Greet your mother, she says, your future mother. Against those phrases, she says, sua madre, sua madre, sua madre, sua madre, sua madre. We get everybody's yes saying, yes, your mother. When you hear that repeated uh, over and over again, it's just absolutely here, hilarious. When she has that information, the music is transformed. And she says, al dolce, al dolce contento di questo momento, the sweet happiness of this moment, I can hardly resist. And there's this moment of stasis. These little arabesques sung by Susanna. And the mag magistrate and the count are angry. <laughs> and everybody else is happy. <laughs> Four characters singing against two, you have three against three, five against one, a sextet with so many different combinations, so many different little motifs. Everybody has their identity. This is Mozart at the top of his game.